Today we're going to be discussing our slack loop cable storage systems. One reason for using an in-span storage system would be to allow you to store enough slack cable to bring that cable down into your splice trailer and splice. Another reason would be to allow for the proper bend radius for your cable. Let's talk material. Here we have aluminum, here we have plastic. This one's made of a high grade aluminum that's powder coated. It's gonna last for many years. It also has this one continuous cable loop or channel, and it's gonna allow you to, to attach that cable very easily. Here we have our UV stabilized plastic material. It's also going to last many years. This features our cable retention fingers, allowing for very easy install of the cable. All right, let's talk channel depth. Here we've got our standard channel depth. Here we've got our wide channel depth. What's the difference? Well, with the single, you can make one continuous loop. With the wide channel, you can make multiple loops of the same cable or multiple different cables. All right, let's talk cable attachment hardware. So here I've got two of the same exact slack loops. This one, however, is utilizing bug, bug nuts that attach to the strand. This one is utilizing the ADSS cable attachment hardware. Um, so let's for a minute here pretend that this is ADSS. I'm gonna hang it over the ADSS cable, feed my Deltec strap through, cinch it up, and I'm off and running. When choosing your in-span storage system, general rule of thumb is to go 20 times the outside diameter of your cable. Always check with your cable manufacturer. Here we've got a dot six inch cable with a 12 inch slack loop. Pull this back and everything should fit seamlessly. Here we've got a fully installed slack loop. Hope you guys learned a lot today. Thanks for tuning in.